I'm getting ready to install this TV in my RV. I've got the, the bracket mount on the back of the TV. Uh, I'll have a link in the description what that is. It's an RV rated one so it locks in place. Um, I'm try to show you a little bit about that later when I get it put up. But uh, there's a TV. It's a Roku 32 uh, inch smart TV. But uh, this is uh, the mounting location is over here. For this RV, <clears throat> and you see it's got the sticker. It says TV backer location. Now all these little dots that you see up here are magnets. That's how I found where the uh, the steel plate is behind here for the uh, actual mounting location. So that steel plate is pretty large. Let me back up a little bit. You can see. So it's uh, about a third of the size of the uh, the window there and goes uh, almost from the the window valance to the ceiling but uh see these magnets let's see if i can get this uh in a video but if i pull this magnet over to the side we'll try to just like balance it on my finger and then as i come towards the whoops see i dropped it and it's stuck so uh there's the uh the back of plate, if it goes over, it's stuck to the next one. So, can't uh, quite get it to slide over without dropping it, but let's see if I just let it slide. There we go. And boop, it jumps, it jumps into place. So, there's my backer. Um, off camera, we held this up and decided that to mount this it uh you'll see when i get it put up but it's a pretty tight fit couldn't fit too much of a bigger tv um between the the valance and the ceiling it just about takes up the whole space but uh holding it up i decided my bracket needs to go just above where that sticker is or the top of the bracket needs to go just above where that sticker is so i'm going to try to drill some holes and get a bracket mounted and then we'll take a look at that all right, now off camera, I said I kind of figured out that this thing needs to go with that sticker about halfway through the middle of the holes that are there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but um, it came with a little tiny level, which is kind of good. So that is level. So I'm going to mark holes there, there. There and let it slip. There. So holes are marked. I'm sure you can't see them on camera. But now comes the scary part. Put a big hole in the camper. Okay, the big scary part. I'm gonna drill. pretty quick. Yep. Next one. Through. One more. And the last one. All done. All right, now the holes are drilled. Take a look at this uh, lag bolt that come in the kit. Um, five thirty seconds bit. What's what the directions say? It is quite a bit smaller than this lag bolt, so we'll see how it goes in. But uh, earlier, also off camera, 
I kind of matched up this bolt to the took this screen out to the thickness of the wall um, it looks pretty close that's a one inch lag bolt um, read some stuff online for some other folks that have installed these and they said they use three quarter inch lag bolts so I'm going to put a um, just a stack of, of uh, washers on this thing to uh, take up that take up about a quarter of an inch and uh, put this bracket on the wall so we'll see how that goes next alright magnets let's get rid of them Whoops. There. And out of the way. All right, bracket. And the first lug. One in, that is a uh, quarter inch drive with a half inch socket. Again, fits the lag bolts that come in the kit. So, next one. When I got a little too tight, loosen it up till I get it, everything centered. All right, two down, two to go. All right, the memory card filled up for uh, three and four. I mean, you don't need to see that anyway. So they're all in. They're still relatively loose. Um, if you look, the uh, the the uh, holes are slotted, so they have quite a lot of give. Um, so you're not going to probably mess up too much of anything. Um, so next I'm going to get this level back. And uh, that's close. We'll level that up just a little bit better. And then uh, tighten up the screws. But uh, before I do that, take a look at this mount. It... Uh, It'll tilt, the TV will tilt uh, forward quite a bit down. Um, it is currently locked into place. This little thing here, you pull, and of course if it was secure on the wall, it unlocks it, lets, it, lets this arm move out, swing out. So pretty nice mount. So now again, I just gotta get it uh, secured and then we'll get the TV on. All right, back to the TV real quick. This um, X mount is uh, part of the uh, uh, mount wall mounting bracket come in that kit. Uh, just four screws there hold that on. You just match them up. You can see it's got lots of choices. So it's a, one of those universal type mounts. But if you see um, right up here is a uh, lip that's going to hang on the wall mount. And then down here is a couple bolts so that's how we attach the TV um, to this mount that just installed so it's up there it's bolted it's secured so let's get that uh, TV hung all right got the uh, bracket pulled out here a bit from the wall so I can get the things a little better so this thing should just come up and hang like a hook it does and then screws from the kit go in Oops. all right one in loosely Everything's black behind here. I can't see anything. I should have had a light. But next screw in. The screws in the kit are Allen head. 
uh, they give you a uh, Allen head wrench in the kit. So let's see if we can tighten these up a little bit. Some adjustment to it. So I'm back here with the uh, with the level and about right there. The TV level. Let's see if I can get. Get one in real tight, and the other one is harder to get to for some reason, but we'll get it tightened up. TV, I just can't see. TV's on the wall. Um, before I turn it on and tidy up some wires, this uh, little bitty uh, coax. I found in my junk drawer. It's about 20 inches. Looks like it'll be about perfect. So I'm going to connect that up and then uh, we'll take a look at it. Alright, here we are. Completed. Kind of the view uh, with the TV pulled out in uh, chillaxing in bed mode. Um, the uh, Roku TV is pretty sweet. I get... Uh, in, in the antenna and this uh, grand design works well. I get uh, 40 channels uh, over the air on the antenna so all kinds of goodies there and uh, get a little guide and everything and then uh, I've got my Netflix and my Prime connected so all that is functioning the next video, I'm going to show you how to watch Netflix without internet. So stay tuned, like, and subscribe, and uh, show you some tricks so you can watch your movies when you're camping way off grid. And finally, a last look in travel mode. So it's all in against the wall, tied up. This, uh, gosh, the. You can see this is the uh, release so it latches to the wall so it won't come loose move around in transit um, pop that release and then you can swing it out like I had it before but it's all done and sweeter than candy